Joel Logan with the Hole in the Ground Terrain here, and um, we're going to do a short interview with um, Robert Adams here. Robert is a game designer and has developed a game called It Came From Beyond the Steel, uh, which this is a, a copy of the rule book here. And uh, Robert, can you give folks just a quick brief synopsis of the game itself? Then I've got a few specific questions sure. I want to ask you. Uh, well, it's, uh, it came from Beyond the Steel as a multiple player game. It's a miniature game. And it's set around the historical conflict of aliens versus hillbillies. And I did a lot of historical research for this game, you know, to make sure that I had everything just right. Uh, we're doing a full line of miniatures for this. Um, we have a Kickstarter out right now, although I think it, the days are almost over on it. But we are still doing the miniatures anyway. Um, now, this game's a lot of fun. It plays really fast. You can play a game in about an hour. You can also add more stuff and play longer. The game rules are simple. Uh, they take up about a page. Uh, and then what happens after that is each one of the factions, the McCoy faction, uh -oh. the Hatfield faction, the Greys, the Blobs, uh, the Men in Plaid, which is uh, kind of like the Men in Black, but Scottish. Uh, they can throw sheep and cabers and stuff. Uh, and uh, the you know various factions, they have what's called cool powers. And they can use these cool powers during the turns. And what happens is they can use these powers to affect the game and the outcome of the game. Like the Greys have telepathy. You know, and the uh, cool power of the Men in Black is they can throw sheep at you. And they can get really drunk and enter a stupor and just go crazy. Uh, it's a lot of fun, this game. It's, it's a very fast played game. Uh, like I said, it takes typically about an hour to play. So, uh, you know, we've uh, we've just come out with it. Now, the next supplement for it was actually a standalone product. It's going to feature cultists, the meddling kids, um, zombies, uh, and a variety of new factions of hillbillies, as well as a new faction of men in black and some other surprises in there. Uh, it's also going to contain 13 scenarios since it's a harder game. Now, this is a scenario-driven game as it's currently set. Uh, there are no build rules. Uh, the third book which is planned, which I'm currently writing, is called The Missing Link. And it's going to feature hillbillies and dinosaurs and all kinds of fun things like that. It's going to be kind of high adventure in the trailer park. So that one's also going to feature uh, build rules so you can build your own factions and things like that. So. All right, well, i got a few questions. As far as scale, have you designed it for a certain scale or... or um is it a 28 millimeter scale game? or? It is currently designed for 28 millimeter. We have played it in 15s. We've also played it in 32. So it works just fine in those scales. Now I would recommend if somebody wants to play it in 15, then they might want to go ahead and back the ranges in half. Uh, maybe do the same with the movement, depending on how big their table is. It's designed for a 4 by um, 4 by 4 table. So this is actually a little bit bigger. But we've also played this thing on my table, which is 12 by 6. So. And, we've had, and there are pictures on the blog showing the games that we've had. But, uh, yeah, to answer your question, it's designed specifically for 28s, but it scales very, very easily. Now, you mentioned miniatures. Are you coming out with some miniatures? We are. Are these some of them? Those are not. Looking? Those are Blue Moon, and okay. they are. They make good stuff. That's uh, Blue Moon Hillbillies. Uh, those are available right now. You can get them from various retailers. Um, you know, I just... Uh, so we are doing though, but the blobs down there uh, okay. are from our current sculptor, uh, Brad Shear of Frozen Planet. Those are some official miniatures for it came from Beyond the Still. You said you're working Here's on a board a, game for this as well? Yeah, we are. We're designing a board game. We're going to do all the miniatures for the factions for this game. And then once that's complete, uh, we're going to go ahead and use those same miniatures for the board game. And the board game will be based off of tiles, since obviously you can't fit a bunch of terrain in the board, you know, in a box. So, yeah, it's work. So. Well, Robert, I'm going to um, film your board a little bit. And everybody, if you can see this information here, uh, this is how to get in contact with him. And we'll also uh, try to put a link into the video as well. Sure. Uh, but, Robert, we appreciate your time today. And... Uh, Thank you Thanks for uh, letting us film it, and we'll get this on soon.
And it's really funny when they fight. Here. No, I want to shoot the pig. <laughs> Yeah, like if you if you if you're the guy with the vehicle, in this case, I think it's is it drunk Bob with the vehicle? No, I think it's a bad thing. Who has the truck? It's a cool car. Oh, there ain't no truck over here.